Today's the day. It's about 6 a.m. Neighbors made sure I got up. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So thanks to all the new subscribers. It's kind of a nice treat to see all, all the new people. Oh, let's see. So today, I've got to do a health screening check. It takes about 15 minutes if there's no line. I did one before, but it's outdated. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, i got to just get my house in order, get the last bit of stuff done. I'm all packed up, so that stuff's ready to go. And uh, just make sure everything's covered up, turned off, and uh, got to arrange a trike and try to get some some cash in case there's extra costs at the at the uh, immigration for leaving. Sometimes they have extra fees for this and that, and so I always bring a little bit extra money. And then I have to try to get some money for Turkey, so I'm ready to go there. So anyway, let's get going. Hey, 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 Vern! Hey! Alright, we're headed to town and finish the last few errands we got. So here we go. Alright, so we're at Valencia. We're at the Rural Health Unit. Getting our last health screening, which I recommend doing right before you go. You know, I tell people... You know, I tell people I don't drink, but I've had this in my fridge here for a long time so when I come back this is gonna be my victory dance I'm gonna drink that and be happy that I am back in the Philippines so anyway there it is it's waiting in my defrosted fridge for my eventual return all right so I got my bags packed I'm gonna take one giant suitcase now to distinguish my suitcase I put these tassels on here I didn't know what to do to distinguish my suitcase so it should be pretty easy to spot. Now, these bags are going to be damn heavy. This is my camera bag, and everything is packed to the gills. I couldn't get any more things in these bags. And so, you can see what I got in my camera bag. Now, I was kind of afraid to bring batteries on board, but I discharged my drone batteries. Look at how packed that thing is. There's not much room for anything else had this quick check-in questionnaire thing and it asked are there any lithium ion batteries in your in your check on checked bag and in my head I'm thinking my carry-on bag and I'm like yes there is and then once I put yes it completely kicked me out of my my questionnaire and it wouldn't let me pre-register so I thought, oh crap so then I redid the whole thing again is there any batteries in your checked bag no, there is not. There is not now. And then everything went through. So you can carry on discharged batteries in your carry-on from what I gather if they're in little sealed baggies so the contacts can't contact anything. Some places are more strict than others. They may have a, an issue where they only allow you so many. Uh, B and my bags are so packed tight, they're going to have a hard time finding all the little tiny batteries that I have for my cameras. And my drone batteries are 100% discharged, so hopefully that'll be okay. I'm just crossing my fingers because I don't want to have to buy batteries. They're not cheap for these products. So hopefully it'll work. And I've got my trike guy coming here in about an hour, and we're going to start heading toward the airport. So pretty soon. All right, guys, here we go. Hey guys, I'm sitting here waiting on my trike. I had a guy that showed up that wanted to give me a ride, but I already set this guy up to come, so I'm gonna hang out. So I got my big old suitcase, my big heavy backpack on. So this stuff's loaded to the gills. <laughs> I couldn't get any more stuff in these bags if I wanted to. So hopefully they're not gonna hit me too dang hard at the airport for oversized, but it is what it is. Whatever I get is what has to happen. So anyway, I'm just sitting here waiting. I told him to meet me here at 11.15 and it's about 
11 in the afternoon on the 11th, September 11th. So once I get to the airport and get checked in my hotel, hopefully that works out, then I'll go ahead and do another video. All right, until then. All right, so this is my trike driver. What's your name? My name is Ian. Ian, nice to meet you, Ian. So Ian's my fearless driver today. We're going from Valencia to the airport. So we're on our way. He showed up right after I made the last clip, so yeah, everything worked out. So goodbye, Valencia. We're on our way. landed on my phone. We're gonna try to get it out now. Huh. There he is. Huh. Alright, so we're inside the airport now where a bird is hanging out. And so we're just gonna go through our health screening. Alright, so it looks like we have our exit screening. Make sure everybody's checked out before they get on the flight. So here I think they're just doing a basic health check. Feel like a spaceman. I only had to go through the check-in three times. My bag was 15 kilos overweight. That cost me a little over 60 bucks. So, ouch. Oh well, something to think about. All right, so we're on the plane and we're getting ready to leave Dumaguete. So here's the view outside. Here's the view inside.
now I'm staying close to Terminal 3 in a place called Alicia Apartments. And when they pulled into this area, it's quarantined off where I'm at. They had to pull the rope so the taxi could get in here. And I'm thinking, oh, that doesn't make me feel any better. And so they had to see my travel authority documents. And it got me into the apartment complex. And it's in a, looks like a really sketchy area, but it's got a nice apartment for the money. So this is the little place. You know, it's got a little kitchenette set up. It's got a little fridge. It's not super fancy, but for the area that it's in, it looks pretty decent. So I'm not complaining. So anyway, I'm in Manila. So tomorrow at 9 p.m. is my flight. And so checkout here is at noon. And they serve a breakfast here, which is kind of nice. And so I'm just gonna hang out here for probably three hours from till three and then another guy's gonna ride a shuttle to the airport. So I'm gonna go there with him. So that'll make things a little easier for me. So anyway, the flight was pretty uneventful. It got a little bumpy. Um, I could say that when you entered the airport, you used to, and do get it, you used to be able to just go in go through a scanner, and once you're inside, then you go into the line to get your ticket, and then from your ticket, you pay for uh, your terminal fee, and then you go through the scanner, and then you go into the main part. Now, I guess they did have a scanner in the beginning that they used first, but this time, the scanner in the first doorway is not being used. So instead, you go inside, you stand in line, you wait to do a, a quick medical temperature check, make sure everything's okay. And then you go through the scanner. And then once the scanner, you go to the ticket line and you pay for everything. And after the ticket line, you go back through the scanner and then you can finally go inside. So uh, it's similar, but it takes a lot more time. It probably added an extra hour to the check-in compared to the time that it used to take. So plan an extra hour compared to the normal check-in that used to take you to check in through there. So, but you know, it wasn't that painful. It wasn't uh, crazy getting here. So we'll see what the next steps are like getting out from Manila outward. Now, my bag was 15 kilos over and they dinged me 60 bucks. I'm like, oh, and so, I'm flying with Turkish Airlines next time. I think my bag was 25 kilos and they had a 10 kilo limit. So I'm not sure what Turkish Airlines limit is. Usually it should be about 50 pounds and I think my bag is 50, 60 pounds. If 25 kilos, I think that's what it equates to. So anyway, um, I'm trying to think of what else. So I'm gonna have to try to get something to eat. I'm starving. I just had a few pieces of fruit this morning so I haven't really had much to to eat so anyway I've been getting a lot of subscribers guys that makes my day like you would not believe and the reason is is once once I get to a thousand then YouTube starts to push the content so I hear I'm at the Alicia apartment it's raining like crazy kind of get an idea look what just showed up a real Wendy's double burger you guys know how long it's been since I've had a Wendy's double burger so I ordered this in lockdown it was not cheap it was oh about 400 pesos hey guys I'm sitting here in my hotel room reading your guys's comments and I want to thank you for all the comments and all the feedback now when I was in the Dumaguete airport what surprised me is there were two foreigners that were in there. And I asked the guys, where are you from? And where did they happen to be from? They're from Turkey. And they were headed back today to Turkey on the flight that I was going to take, but the flight had been booked by the time I finally got to the point where I was gonna click to take that flight. So, you know, I talked to them guys for well over an hour and they were super, super nice guys. 
and they came here to the Philippines to learn English. So I just thought that was so ironic. And they had said that it was super safe. And they had said, when you go to Turkey, eat everything. And the thing that the one guy missed the most is the food. He says, oh, I can't wait to get back home to eat the food. And everybody, I mean, everybody that I've watched or talked to says the food is outstanding in Turkey. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I hope to share that experience with you guys also, okay? Oh, by the way, that Wendy's burger, oh, that hit the spot. Oh, I miss beef. I really miss good beef. So this ought to be a treat to go to Turkey where they have beef and I get to try lamb. I don't think I've ever tried lamb. Maybe you've tried lamb. Do you like lamb? Let me know. Hey, 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 Vern.